United States says China aims to erase Tibet's culture. Yes, Washington has accused Beijing of pursuing a forced assimilation policies on the children in Tibet, which, as you may know, is a region in southwest China that Beijing claims to be a part of its own territory. The United States says it would sanction Chinese officials behind the policy of state boarding schools in Tibet. The visas would be restricted. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken described the policies as an attack on Tibetan culture. Blinken says such policies seek to eliminate Tibet's distinct linguistic, cultural and religious traditions among the younger generations. Blinken urged the Chinese government to quit such policies, not just in Tibet, but across the mainland of China. United Nations experts say around one million children have been separated from families in the region. In December as well, United States slapped sanctions on two high-ranking officials over human rights violations in Tibet. Experts say programs in Tibet aim to impose China's majority's Han culture, with compulsory education in Mandarin. Not only this, reports reveal that China has pushed thousands from traditional rural jobs into low-skill vocational training to bring uniformity and undermine their identity. <laughs> Meanwhile, China dubbed the report as completely unfounded. It says it has brought stability, economic stability and religious harmony to the region. But there is no smoke without fire. United States has been accusing China of waging a genocide in another region, Xinjiang as well, where witnesses say Beijing operates forced labor camps.